Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, NIN hydrant test. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. NIN hydrant test is uh, one of the chemical tests for qualitative or quantitative analysis. This test is performed to detect the presence of amines or alpha amino acids in the sample. So this is basically a test for detecting the presence of amines or alpha amino acids in the sample. The reactants, uh, the reactant used in the chemical reaction is uh, ninhydrine, which is a hydrocarbon compound with the formula C9H6O4 and the IUPAC name for uh, ninhydrine is 2,2-dihydroxyindane-1,3-dione. Uh, All amino acids uh, having uh, alpha amino group uh, when heated in excess of uh, ninhydrine gives a purple colored product. So that is the basis of this test. Only proline and uh, hydroxyproline amino acid molecules, which contain secondary amino group produce yellow condensation product. The color's intensity uh, is proportional to the concentration of amino acid. So all amino acids um, with the alpha amino group tend to react to the ninhydrine when heated at a high temperature and it will give a blue colored product. The proteins also contain uh, free amino groups on the alpha carbon and can react with ninhydrine to produce a blue purple product. So that's the reason uh, the reaction with ninhydrin is used for the quantitative analysis of uh, amino acids and uh, free amino groups in proteins. So it can be used for uh, qualitative um, uh, detection or for quantitative measurement uh, like uh, peptide sequencing. Ninhydrin is uh, most commonly used as a forensic chemical to detect uh, uh, fingerprints as amine left over from the proteins stored off in the fingerprint that react with uh, the ninhydrin to give characteristic purple color. So this is used in the forensic to analyze the fingerprints. Uh, besides amino acids, uh, other complex structures such as peptides, peptons and uh, proteins also react positively when treated with the ninhydrin. Ammonium salts, uh, amino sugars and ammonia also give uh, positive ninhydrin test. So to get a reliable quantitative result, uh, compounds should not be present in the, uh, the reaction mixture. Let's see the principle of uh, ninhydrin test. Ninhydrin uh, is a strong oxidizing agent. In its presence, amino acid undergo oxidative deamination, uh, liberating ammonia, carbon dioxide, and corresponding aldehyde and reduced form of ninhydrin. The ammonia formed from alpha amino group reacts with uh, ninhydrin and its uh, reduced product to give a blue substance called as the diketohydrine, and that absorbs light at uh, 570 nanometer. The proline, which uh, gives yellow color as it lacks uh, alpha amino group, uh, the molar absorption coefficient of the colored product can be used in the quantification of the individual amino acids, uh, but this value varies from amino acid to amino acid. So to do the uh, ninhydrin test, a uh, sample can be prepared in a 10 ml volume, around 0.2 grams of the sample dissolved in uh, water to a 10 ml and 1 ml of this can be used. And this can be mixed with uh, two or three drops of uh, one percentage ninhydrin prepared in ethanol. And uh, this can be heated in a water bath for two to five minutes. If there is a presence of uh, amino acid or the proteins, then the color of the solution turns to blue color. So that's uh, about the ninhydrin test and how to perform the test. Uh, if you like the video, please press the like button and uh, share it with your friends. Thank you.